Look into the future, what do you see? I really need to know now, is there a place for me? If we're gonna survive, the dream must stay alive. Authorities are appealing for calm throughout the evacuation process. She'll love it. What a surprise. If we can keep her away till we're ready. And Celine's watching in case she waits. What on earth? Look at that. I couldn't find this crutch. Look, first I have Chloe breaking my door down at the crack of dawn, waking me up. Then I get dragged out of bed. It's all part of the surprise. Yeah, but to drag me out of bed and get me up here like a baby. Found it. And you thought you could get away by hiding it? No, I, I couldn't find them, really. Where, where, where did you find them? Under your bed. Oh, you know, I, I didn't look down. Oops. Well, what, what now? The prison. But I mean, I'm, I'm here, I mean, is that enough? Jack, we agreed. A present from each person. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we did. We did, right. Um, I'm still working on mine. It's a, uh, it's a surprise. No present, no oh. entry, no breakfast. Thanks for the wake up call, Chloe. I'm great. No present, no entry, no breakfast. It's from both of us. Lex, I saved your seat. Where's Amber? She was already up when I went to wake her. Probably off sulking as usual. Again? How long is she going to keep this up? Remember, we've got to make today special. So when Patsy comes in... Here she is. away any longer. She was hungry. Happy birthday, Patsy. Happy birthday, sweetie. Look at all your presents. I didn't even remember. What games are we going to play? You can choose, Patsy. Games? At your party. We decided there'd be no chores today, just fun. You get to choose everything today. I can do something pretty with your hair if you like. Amber. Oh, hi. I'm glad you're all here. I've drawn up another roster. Thought this place could do with some cleaning and decorating. But it's Patsy's birthday. We're gonna have a party. Oh, right. Happy birthday, Pats. Amber, we said we wouldn't work today, remember? Right. No, no, you go ahead and spoil the fun. Feel free. Shut it, Lex. We agreed. No chores on Patsy's birthday. Right, I'll, um, I'll just put this up here. And there she goes again. Off to sulk. We should snap out of it. It's like we're having to tiptoe around just because Amber's feeling really unhappy. You can tiptoe on crutches? Well, you know what I mean. She should have gone off with a crazy juggler. Come on, guys, it's party time. What's first? Presents, games, or food? Patsy's hair.
Are you okay? Yeah. Are you coming to the party? I'm not in the mood. Did Sasha give that to you? You really love him, don't you? Loved. I really loved him. You don't think he'll be back? He won't be back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've got this big empty ball of nothing growing inside me. It's about to burst through my skin. It gets easier. Come to the party. You chose to stay with us, remember? How can I forget? She's lost her tiny marvel if she thinks I'm doing extra cleaning. I can't see KC anywhere. I wonder why she left me off. Well, she probably plans to throw you out. <laughs> Too much like travel. Do you really think she'd chuck me out? Don't yeah, worry, I won't let her. Anyway. The rate she's going, she's not going to be boss for much longer. Uh, look, I, I still think we should be using these batteries to get the outside cameras powder. Not wasting them on some party. You only get a birthday once a year, Jack. But you get a birthday, he's even got on security. Come on, Jack. Get in the party spirit. Celine, I'll take those. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Congratulate me. Huh? Ten days and not one, you know. Patsy, you look like a princess. Your hair looks beautiful. Thanks. Thanks. Bob, here, boy. <laughs> hey, I'm underdressed. <laughs> Is Amber coming to the party? I don't know, Chloe. She's got a lot on her mind. Hey, Pets. Easy birthday present. Pets. Happy birthday. Gee, thanks. That doesn't count. I need a real present. Well, let's play musical chairs. Yeah. Jack, you do the music. No, I've done my bit and I've got to work on the surveillance cameras. And do the music and we'll forget about the present. Deal? Okay, deal. How much of a cake? Well, it's all I could manage under the circumstances. It'll be fine once it's iced. I notice Celine's bulimia seems to have gone. Yeah, she's doing well. Now she's got Ryan eating out of her hand. Hmm. Maybe I should pretend to have bulimia. He just ignores me now. Zandra, Celine isn't pretending. It's not a game, you know. Well, yeah, but it gets guys running after you. You don't need guys. You've got Lex. How many do you want? What do you think? I couldn't find any birthday candles. What's Celine got that I haven't? Good, huh? Irresistible. What? You or the cake? <laughs> Had luck, Patsy. And the champion is... Jack. That's not fair! You cheated! Hey! Give me the party spirit, Del. Time to blow out the candle. Wow, look, Pat. Make a wish, Patsy. But don't tell anyone or it won't come true. Remember, a good thought's only, Patsy. If you don't blow it out first time, it means you've got a boyfriend. Blow, Patsy. <laughs> come on, Pats. <laughs> What's wrong? Patsy? I bet it's pork. 
It's okay, Patsy. I'm sure he's safe somewhere. It's not that. What is it then, love? I don't want to get older. I don't... I don't want to die. I don't want you all to die. No one is dying, Patsy. You're not going to die. Don't lie to me. I'm not a baby anymore. Go back to the party, Jack. We'll pay. They're all arguing about the virus. <laughs> What's eating you? Just remembering what it was like. Do you think it could happen to us? Look, there are and it's out there. We can only kill it. There has to be. Do you want to play another game, Patsy? No, I want to go home. Yeah. This is getting us nowhere. Look, why don't we start again and treat it as a normal day? What's normal anymore? I'll get the roster. I might have known. Chores. It'll keep our minds off things. We're only trying to have a bit of fun. Is this fun? Exactly. So let's stop moaning and get on with some work. Or sulking in your room, are you? You can mope around, but when we get sad, hey, let's do some work. Hey, tell your little puppet to shut his mouth, Lex, before I shut it for him. You touch him, and it'll be you that shut up. Oh, look, this is stupid. I'm going to get the roster. It's my birthday party, and if I want to be sad, I can. We don't have to do stupid work on my birthday. You don't even care. Fine. Do what you like, have your party. Trash the place again for all I care. And you know what, Patsy? I don't care. I wish I never had. Then maybe I wouldn't be stuck here with a bunch of losers like you. So go ahead, sit moping in this filth that I came back to and wait for the virus to get you. Because I don't care. It's for later. But I'm hungry now. So our self-appointed leader has gone off to sulk again. Nothing new there? Your compassion is moving, Lex. Look, when you're a leader, you have to keep your feelings to yourself. One tiny little upset, she loses it. And we get it in the neck. Exactly. Lex is right. She should at least try to put on a happy face. We've all got troubles. Leave her alone. For how long? Look, I don't think she has the guts for this anymore. Look. Come on. We can get through this. Okay, see? I need help. You can say that again. Jack's ready for us to fix the cameras outside the loading bay. I'm just gonna help Jack. Okay. How long has Amber been sulking over Sasha? It's been ages. And then typical, she chooses Patsy's birthday party to pull herself together. And when we complain, bam, she's back to her room to sulk again. And for how long this time? Hold the letter steady, Casey. I am, I am. And yell if you see anyone coming. Sure, don't mind me. I can do a million things at once. I can't help it. I'm shaking in my shoes. Petrified the locos might come. Quit it, Casey. Sorry. What are you doing up there, Dal? Hurry up. So we are scared then. Okay, guys. Let's get to work. Pardon? Well, Amber's right. We can't just sit around feeling sorry for ourselves. So let's see what goodies she's got cooked up for us. Did I miss something? Since when have you been in charge of admin? It's just until she's feeling up to it. Is she ever going to? 
People who don't follow their hearts can never really be happy, Bray. We all choose our own destinies, and Amber chose us, but we're not her first love. So can she ever really be happy? So, it's time for a new lady. Look, Amber's just going through a rough time. Yeah, in making her problems our problems. She'll be okay. Right, Ryan, go get the others. And we'll go through this roster. How's it look? Like a blizzard. Maybe you should check the wiring. You guys, Bray wants you? Uh, we're busy. He said to fetch you. Now? Some people. Next, Jack. But I've done my bit. And me and Dal have got to work on the surveillance cameras. Oh, uh, relax. That's what we want you to carry on doing. Ah. KC. Leave me out. Are you a part of this tribe or not? You tell me, Bray. I'm not even on Amber's stupid roster. Who said your name's not there? I saw for myself. I've got eyes, you know. Yeah, well, maybe you should use them. C-A-S-E-Y spells Casey. That's not my name. Well, how do you spell it? K C K C. <laughs> Look, if you're not willing to pull your weight, KC, you've no place here. It's not up to you. You're not the leader. Well, that's one less mouth to feed. You had your little rush now, big boy. You got a kick off this, this power trip you're on? Pushing little kids about. Casey is my friend. You mess with him, you deal with me. Okay, who's next? Don't you turn your back on me, Bray. Listen, Lex, it's obvious you don't want to have anything to do with this. But butt out while I talk to the others, okay? If Amber wants this mall to run like clockwork, let her come down here and run it herself. Look, Amber could have gone with Sash. Oh, she should have! No. But she chose to stay with us. And just because she chose to stay, doesn't mean she can just forget him. Look, Amber's always been there for all of you. So why can't you be there for her now? You'd love to be there for her. Tucked up in bed with her. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but stepping into her shoes isn't gonna get you there. And we're not standing for it. Leave it, Lex. He's not with it. Get out of here, Bray. You are finished! And take your little dream girl with you, because she's finished as well. They're both of you! Give it up, Lex. I'm bigger than you, and I'm braver than you, and I'm going nowhere. Lex. Leave it out, Zan. Leave it out. Ray? Bray, what's my draw on the roster? I've had enough of this. I can't take him anymore. I should have nailed him right there and right then. Don't let him get to you, Lex. He's lucky he didn't rearrange his face for him. Right. Do it, Lex. You're tougher than him. Shut up, Casey. Come on, Lex. If you let him wind you up, then he wins. But get one thing into your head. Bray will never win. And another thing, I don't need you to protect me, okay? Ever. Lex. But you worry about your pretty face, and let me worry about Bray's, okay? Come on, Cassie. Zandra, have you seen Selene? What? I mean, she's not hanging on to your every move? That makes a change. Why should you care? Because I thought we were friends. We are. Oh, but look, I can't talk now. Uh, see you later, Zandra. 
Selain. 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 Go away, Ryan. No. I'm looking out for you, remember? Leave me alone. Tell me what's wrong, please. I thought you were better. I'm sorry. I was doing so well. I let you down. No. Let's put this on again. All that talk about the virus. I'm so scared. Shh. I wish it would come. I want to get it and end this mess. No. No, you don't. I do. Come on, let's get out of here. The little ones are asking for you. Thanks for the drink. Feeling any better? It's the spot. Tysan's gonna bring you some herbs, help you sleep tonight. Well, I certainly won't be working on anything for that lot. I gave up everything in there. They'll be there for you after today, Amber. You'll see. Ray, um, I drew you and Amber a picture. It's for the cafe, for Amber's decoration. Thanks, Pat. It's of my mommy and daddy, and our house, and Bob, oh. and Paul. What's lovely? You know what my birthday wish was? I wish that my mommy and daddy would come back and tell us what to do. It'll come true. You'll see. Oh. I think you should go to bed now. But I'm not tired. Mm. Well, look, Bob is, and he needs a good night's sleep. Okay. How to get rid of Bray. And this time, it's for good. There is nothing for me to do. 